What's up guys, my name is Dr. Kazros. Welcome back to Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Last time we were just cursed as Wolf Link and well we had to come to the Sacred Grove. Play a stupid puzzle with these guys, fight uh, Skullkid. Kinda, sorta. And well, we got the Master Sword, finally. And well, we could turn into Wolf Link whenever we want. Finally. But also, uh, there's a bug nearby, so I'm gonna go get that. Right now, because this I guess will be like 21, maybe. Or I don't know, you need like 100 probably already. Just kidding, there's only 25. Look at that, a broken chest. That's so cool. A little bit of foreshadowing. But, you know. Oh, I think we could use the claw shot to get the bug. Oh, my God. How cruel. Use the claw shot. Come on. Camera. Like, you do not work sometimes. Hello, bug. You got a snail. It's a boy. We won't be able to get the girl until later on. I think the girl probably is the last bug you can get. How do I get out of here? I think I just got to teleport out of here. But yeah, uh, this place is going to be some like foreshadowing. We'll have to come back here later. As you can see, there's a door up there. Weird door. This place is kind of weird looking. But oh well, let's uh, turn into a wolf. And let's warp on out of here. Because I want to go see Telma. She told us that she wanted to... Uh, you know, have us come to her bar after things are all done and sorted out. So let's go to her bar. It's been a while. and uh, I guess there's some bugs we could get along the way, but I don't really care. And also some wolf skills, too, but, you know, we're going to just move on. We're going to do the story. Uh, we're going to go to Tumble's bar first, and then I'll probably just go and get the rest of the collectible stuff. So, oh boy, I'm going to do a click time because there's some good times when you could do it. You could do it now, but, I mean, like, you know, kind of no point. What? Oh, he, okay, I was like, what? He's going to do it to the wolf. Mr. Link, wait! <sighs> Greetings, Mr. Link. I have come to deliver a letter. It is a letter from Telma. I was just going to see her anyways, so it doesn't, not like it matters. Well, my business is concluded. Onward to mail. Okay, great. I like Hyro Castle. That looks so cool. It's gonna look cool though when we break the curse though. But yeah, let's go into Hyro Castle Town. Cause there's actually some things I wanna do. But we're gonna go to Thomas Bar first. Cause uh, you know, I have a couple things I wanna do. Cause I think this is like our uh, one of our official visits. Cause the other time, you know, I'm like the other time we're just coming back to see Rallys and save him, but we re really don't have time to, you know. Relax and enjoy the world. Unlike now, though. So now, I'm going to go see Telma. See what she's got to say. I'm not going to read the letter because I kind of already know it's going to say come to her bar. So, kind of pointless to even open it up. But we're going to go see her because uh, she has some stuff that she wants to give to us. But yeah, I love the collecting of the pose. So once we start doing that, I know where all of them are. And some of them you can't get right away, but... It's really cool once you start finding them all. Because they're really cool, you gotta get them at night. You can only get them at night time. Um, ooh. Oh. oh my, if it isn't Link. You made it. How have you been, honey? Mercy, but you have good timing. I was just talking about you. Hey, hey everyone, introduce yourselves. This handsome young man is the infamous Link. Infamous Link. You remember what I told you before, honey. These are those friends I mentioned to you, the ones who are trying to help deal with all the troubles in Hyrule. Actually, there's one more of us, but there's been a disturbing turn of events in the western desert, so he's gone to check it out. He's an older man named Aru. If you happen to meet him, definitely take the time to go talk with him, okay, honey? Well, you've come all the way here, honey, so why don't you relax a bit? Why don't you be sociable and talk to these folks? They're a jolly bunch. Yeah, let's go talk to everybody. Like, Luis! Thank you, Luis. I'm really proud of what you did. And also this guy. What to order, what to order. I do believe I will start with meat. Okay. Yeah, I know, right? It looks nice. It's a lot of meat, though. Alright, let's check the map out, see where we gotta go. Hi. That old Kadra Aru is at Lake Hylia studying the desert. Oh, we were just there. Guess we gotta go back. Hey. This guy looks familiar. 
It has been a long time. Link. <gasps> Russell! My wife Uli sent word to me. I have seen the children in Kakariko Village. And of course, I have also heard of your adventures. I must thank you for your help with Colin, Link. I barely recognized him in any case. I am troubled by my own inaction. I want to help the cause. These friends here, I've had a, a connection with them for a long while. Like the others, I am gathering information now. I will let you know if I hear anything. You look weird, Russell. <laughs> That's funny, though. This girl's cool, though. She's my favorite. It's Ashy. I grew up in the mountains with my father, who was a knight in his own right. He taught me in the arts of war as though I was his son. Of course, lessons in common courtesy were not part of the reg regimen, so forgive me if I come off as rude, yeah? Listen, before I blab both of your ears off, I want to tell you something. Snow Peak, the mountain to the north of Hyrule, it's unlike any mountain I've ever seen. I don't know how much yet, but things happen there happen on no other mountain I know of. Evil controls it. As soon as I know something more, I'll tell you. Until then, you should stay away, yeah? Alright, let's talk to this guy. Oh, hello there. You must be Link, correct? I'm Shad. Wonderful to meet you. Tell what told me all you've been up to. You're rather formidable. Sorry, someone's freaking trying to text me right now. I'm trying to read it. I'm rather not. I'm afraid, well, I'm formidable at book reading, but I like skill. Shall we say physical skills? That said, if the history and legends of Hyrule are your, your cup of tea, I'm your fellow. If you're curious, just ask away. Alright, well, nerd, uh, BDSM chick, and, uh, dad. Basically. That's basically who they are. But, uh, that guy, Aru, he's in the desert. Well, not desert, but he's kind of over by Lake Hylia, so we're going to have to go visit him at Lake Hylia. But we're going to take care of some few side things we're going to do first. And first things first, we're going to go see the princess. And no, not the Twilight Princess. She's in her shadow. No, we're going to go see a different type of princess. Well, this princess is a, a bug princess. Some guy's looking in her window. Ew, creep. This is Agatha. If any of you guys played Higher Warriors, you'll know who this girl is. Oh my god. Um. Oh boy, I thought you were a giant grasshopper. Hey, that's a reference to Ma uh, Majora's Mask. But you're not a bug. You're a person. Still, you're wearing those clothes, so that tell me you like bugs too. Oh boy, I forgot the formalities. You have an audience with the princess of the bug kingdom, Agatha is my name. I've invited the 24 golden bugs of the world to the ball, but I don't know if they got lost in the way or what, but they're not here, that's for sure. If you see them, would you please bring them here to Agatha's castle and tell them Princess Agatha awaits. Oh boy, if you have a bug with you now, please give it to me. The ball must begin. Alright, I have a couple bugs I got. All these bugs! So let's give her a set for right now. I'm not going to give her a set of the other ones until later. Oh, 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 boy. Who's your friend? You're a little boy pill bug, aren't you, little cutie? Little pill bug, little pill bug. I wish I was smaller so I could roll around like a ball. Oh, boy. Thank you so much. I'm so happy. You actually went bug hunting, hunting for me, didn't you? To be honest, I doubted you. You would. I guess something might consider me a poor-mannered princess. From now on, if you bring me insects, I'll share my happiness with you. You could keep it in this. <gasps> oh, nice! Okay, I'm gonna actually give them all of them now. This is where the wallets are from. Okay, cool. Nice, alright, cool. So I'm just gonna give her all of these stuff. She doesn't really say much. Not really much change of dialogue. It's kinda all the same, so. Let's do it. This is you get, uh... You know, if you give her a whole set, she gives you, you know, a giant orange rupee. But if you give her no one bug, she'll just give you a, um, you know, a simple old 50 rupee, pretty sure. Oops, she said something different. I didn't read it. I'll read it next time. All right. Now I'm going to give her the rest. Well, all right. All right. That's everything I wanted to do in Agatha's place. I gave her all my bugs. And now uh, there's another mini game area we can go to in uh, Hyrule Castle Town. And, uh... Usually I don't do many games, but this one's actually really fun to do, and well, pretty worthwhile. And if you guys are a fan of Tingle, well, this is the closest you'll get to normal Tingle. Hey. 
Greetings and salutations, good sir. Welcome to the kingdom of hopes and fondest dreams. In this place, you can taste the life of Circus Star and get your hands on gear that boggles minds. It is our earnest hope that you find delight playing the star game. The rules are exceedingly simple. So all you must endeavor to do is track down all the glowing orbs and collect them all before time runs out. Star. <laughs> Rather outstanding name, I must say. Step right up. Shyness be gone. It's only 10 rupees. Who's up to the challenge? I'll do it. Many thanks, good sir. The game will begin once you enter the cage. May chance favor you. <laughs> good sir, are you ready? Then away we go. Alright. Yeah, hopefully do this on the first try. Okay, come on. Let go. Oh no! Get that link. Crap. Yeah! I'm a star. That was nice. Im impossible. Oh, what a happy day this is. The debut of a new star showers of applause all around. To the star, I shall give you this. Oh, big cover. I can hold up 60 arrows. Very well. The next stage will be one you created just for you, good sir. I would expire. You should decline. Please. You must try it when it is ready. Psst. I should remember this. All right, yep. Yeah, so we'll have to come back later. I'm pretty sure we could try to do it now, but I'd rather come back later. It's him! Like, I mean, now you got fangirls. And, um, if you ever played any of the Oracle games or Minish Cap, these guys are referenced to, uh, the Oracles. They got Faror, Nehru, and Din. Pretty sure they're not them, but it's supposed to be referenced, because look at The tan girl is the red one. Alright, let's get going. Puppy! Hi, puppy. Oh, yeah, so let's get going. Uh, we're gonna go to Kakariko Village now, because there's a couple things I want to do there. And then we'll uh, go to Lake Hylia at the end of this episode. And then we'll probably go start that next stuff. So uh, I'll see you guys then. And here we are. Hopefully we don't get caught. We're a werewolf. I like that. I wasn't too sure if we could transform or not. But now... We can finally get this heart piece that's been mocking us. It still mocks us. He's like, you can't reach me, tiny little man. Came for the sun. Damn, how close do I gotta fucking get? Hmm. Alright, well, we'll come back to it. It mocks me still. Uh, I don't like that. Oh, this guy. Who are you? Hey, I remember you. Oh, it's just the local crackhead Goron. Her, long, long ago, I predicted that you would come, my brother. But tell me, did you not see my young one in trouble in young Castletown? Yeah, young. He has been stuck standing here. Standing there, for he cannot get any hot spring water. Alas, the East Castletown Bridge remains broken. Perhaps his fortune will turn, for it looks like that Malamart is raising money to repair the bridge. This is a fine thing, my brother. Perhaps you might consider a contribution to their fund raising to help me and mine. I guess so. So, yep, that's basically what money's for. Fundraising. Hi. <sighs> Welcome to Malamar. I've heard from a reliable source that shops in Hellcast Town are gouging prices, crushing folks under the thumb of commerce. Well, fear not, Bretta, for Malamar has pro proposed a townspeople relief plan as an answer to the lamentations of the common man. Phase one, repair the broken bridge leading from East Castle Town to the field in order to improve, improve traffic. Phase two, buy that Castle Town shop and sell products to the town at reduced prices. You have heard me right, Bretta. There is a problem, however. The finances for the execution of this glorious plan are lacking. Please, Bretta, offer some financial support to the aid in the purchase of Castle Town products. Shops for benefit of the townspeople. We are 1,000 rupees. Oh my god, I'm so close. 55 rupees away. Wow. I'll get that. Don't worry. I'll get that in a few minutes, probably. Because there's some areas we can go to. I'm pretty sure that area... We should be able to get up there. 
We might have to climb up and then get it. But we get there. Alright, let's uh, get onto their backs. Alright, so let's get onto your back. Because uh, these guys are still cool and they let us get on their backs anytime we want. Holy shit. Dangerous though. Oh, I get in the top part of it? That's cool. We get to parts where we went to before. Oh, there's the house we destroyed. That's cool. Alright, let's climb up. There's a heart piece somewhere. I think I already did the arrow thing with Tallow, but I'm not sure. I'll have to talk to him. I heard this town was also attacked by beasts and that it had met with a terrible fate. <gasps> it is shameful that we were so concerned with ourselves that we did not even help. I'm helping the little human up above keep watch to help relations between Kakarika Village and our people on Death Mountain. You want to check out the view from up top? It's pretty amazing scenery, brother. Climb up on my back and take a look. Oh yeah, the little human. That's cute. It's... I know where Talo is. I wonder how Talo got up here. He probably used doors and shit. Makes sense. I couldn't. You know, I have to do it the cool way. Link! Check me out! I'm up here keeping watch for the whole town. Yeah, any more monsters try to attack and I'm gonna be ready. I'll shut my head off and warn everybody. Ah, gee, but if I had a bow, then I could just sit up there and shoot all the nasty monsters. Oh, hey, I know, Link. You can show me how to use one. Come on, please. Just show me how to use shoot a bow, Link. Okay. Oh, yes! Okay, man, I was down there in front of the spring, so go down and find him. Then show me there. He came. But, can you really use a bow? I've never seen you so much as hold a bow back in Ordon. Whatever. First off, shoot through that. Who the fuck do you think you are, you little piece of shit? Do you know who I am? Fucking Link. I guess that one was a bit easy on the easy side. Fine, how about that? It's a lot easier when they're further away. Hey! Hey! Up here! Try to hit this pole! Alright. This part's usually just like by luck. Oh, you got it. Yay! Whoa, you hit it, you hit it. Thanks, Link. I guess you have a little bit of a skill when you concentrate. Looks like you left some battles behind you. Impressive. Take this. Oh, yes. Fuck you, heart. That's on top of the ledge. You could have been a whole heart piece. You don't deserve it. Maybe we get up there first. No, I don't think we get on that ledge, actually. I don't know. Let's find out. Let's check. Okay. My claw shed just goes right through the tree. Are, are we supposed to do that? Hold on. Let me check. What if we're supposed to do this? Oh, my fucking God. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I thought we had to use a grab. Oh, my fuck. Time to go to fucking. <laughs> so much. You know, Pona, I would take you, but I want to be a wolf. Woo! Wolf time. I'll see you guys in Kakariko Village. I mean, yeah, Lake Hylia. All right. So what I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to wait for it to become nighttime, but also. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Don't do that. Don't do that. We can't do that puzzle yet. That's a different puzzle. <laughs> But uh, I just figured I'd go around collecting stuff. I'm gonna stay in this area because uh, a po will appear at nighttime. And I'm kinda waiting for nighttime because that's when you can collect poes, and I know where most of them are. But right now I'm just running around as Link and Wolf Link, traveling around the world, getting what I can, and I wonder if I can get that. I don't know. Whoa! Dude, like, there's so many puzzles, like, hard pieces I could have got, like, right away. 
I thought you needed the grappling hook to get a lot of them. Wow, I'm so stupid. Didn't even try. I'm, oh my god. Hopefully you guys can forgive me. Master Sword! <laughs> One hit. Bro, do you even want to try? Are you dead? Oh, you will be. Woo! Alright, um... Let's go. I'm just going to destroy some stuff. See where we can get to. I'm waiting for that stupid freaking... I wish there was a way to make nighttime come faster. There probably is a way, but... I don't really know. Oh my god! Like... Through it! Run! Oh my gosh. Let's just go see what this is before it becomes nighttime. Oh my god. Ooh. Spooky. Very spooky. This is what I loved about Twilight Princess. You can find these random dungeons around and they just look so freaking cool. Like, why doesn't... Ugh, more games need cool dungeons like this. Especially Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild could have done really cool with these dungeons. I think that'd be cool. Oh. Yellow. Okay, I don't want re yellow, really. I was just blue. I guess I'll kill him. Damn, I want to make green chew jelly just to show you guys I can do it. I want to show you that I can do it. Oh, I think this is a heart piece. Cool little mini dungeon for a cool little heart piece. I like how he puts his little lantern down. Oh, a stamp. Uh, I feel like they changed it most of the heart piece ones for a uh, stamp. Who wants to go around collecting stamps? Because I don't want stamps. Is that all? Oh, there's another way. I'm a bad dungeoneer. If I don't even explore the whole dungeon. I get out of my way. I'm trying to explore a dungeon here. Ooh, a red tech type. I haven't seen you in a while. Kinda, it's kind of weird seeing Tech Tech's underground. You know, I don't really typically associate these guys with underground. I mean, yeah, you know, they're in a... Yeah, they're in a, you know, the mountain place. Whoa! But come on. They're mostly in, like, open areas in the mountains. Not, like, usually in the mountains. Or they're in, like, the water areas. I don't know. Enemies are weird. Oh man, dude, we need a Zelda dungeon maker. This dungeon's huge. Holy shit. This is cool, though. This is actually a really cool video, actually. Just exploring. Oh shit. Something worthwhile. Sick. Got a little Poe soul. Nice. We'll actually be able to get 20 before, uh, you know we know it. Because I know where most of them are. I didn't even know this one was in there, so. Never mind, I totally forgot. But yeah. Transfer back into human. It's a really good puzzle solving mechanic. You're going to have to use Wolf Link a lot in the next dungeon, so. If you don't like Wolf Link, well, get used to using him. He's pretty cool. Just don't think of it as using Wolf Link, think of it as using Minda. Those little hearts turn into a heart piece. This better be the heart piece. I'll be really upset. Yes, finally. Two more. We should have a lot already by now. But you know, I was slacking. You know, I wasn't really doing my job right. Ouch. Alright, now let's go down this way. I keep pressing the wrong button. I did that a lot in, in uh, Phantom Hourglass too. Alright, I think this is another stamp. Probably something useless. Nothing worthwhile. Probably, oh, probably rupees actually. Or stamp. Rupees. Ooh. 
Perfect, we got just enough for Kakarika Village. Alright, so let's get out of here. Put that away. Whoa, holy shit! I was just about to say, is that... Um... Okay. I was gonna say, he wasn't dying. Alright, stop. I didn't know they grew from the ceiling, that's cool. But not really that cool, because I kinda hate that. I miss Deku Babas, why weren't they in Breath of the Wild 2? They better be in Breath of the Wild, you know, number 2. Jesus, who am I though? Like honestly though, I'm not I'm, I'm not gonna be one of those fans. Ooh, is it nighttime? I hope it's nighttime. Yeah, nighttime. Oh look, I see the Poe up there. Cool. Nighttime's a way to travel because the music's just great. Gotcha! Nice. Ooh, let's dig underneath this tree. Ooh, a tender bean. Nice. Alright, let's go to uh, Kakarika Village. Because I'm pretty sure there's another Poe in the graveyard. And I think another one somewhere else. So we're going to go and take those two. I'm pretty sure... I wonder if there's one over here. No, okay. It's just in uh, the graveyard. So we're going to go to the graveyard right now. Grab some pose, get to Lake Hylia. It's gonna be a lengthy episode, mostly because we're just gonna be a click the thon episode. So, just gonna go around collecting stuff. If that's alright with you guys. I mean, you know, every episode, every Zelda Let's Play has to have the collecting episode, and this one just has to be it. Lucky us, right? Alright, so let's go. Over to the graveyard. We'll find what we're looking for. There he is. There's our boy. And I think there's a couple on Death Mountain, but I'm not going to go up there yet. Because that's a long ways away. And I don't want to climb all the way up to Death Mountain. Did I get this already? I'm pretty sure I got it already. Alright, yep, I caught it. Alright, let's get going. I'm pretty sure you get a heart piece actually to kill all these guys. I think I already got it before though. Alright, well here we are. Lake Hylia, um... Why you blo- Oh, there's one right over there. The bloody Poe. He's sitting over there on his own fucking thing. Mind his own jolly business. I seen a uh, chest right below me too. If any of you guys ever want to watch a show, I definitely recommend The Boys. The Boys is a really good show. I love this show. Nice. Got another pose so ripped out. Alright, let's turn back into a person. Let's, uh, get our armor on. We have to sink. Heartpiece? Please be a heartpiece. That'd be really cool. Uh, stamp. A W. Like I wanted one of those. Alright, now I'm gonna go to the next one just so you can shorten it up for a bit. Alright, here we go. This is the last one I'm gonna get. Uh, I'm just gonna end the episode here because it is getting pretty long. I'll continue doing more collecting stuff in the next episode. I wanna do a lot more and I don't wanna go to the next area just yet because there is a lot of collecting we gotta do now that we could do the wolf link and also get the claw shot. But uh, I'm just gonna go talk to the next this guy right up here because this is uh, the area we need to be in. Wait, we better make sure we're dressed as the hero, just so we look the part. Man, I can never get over how fast he climbs, because this 
This area right here sucks. Okay, there's the guy. I thought it was about time for you to arrive. Master Link, is it? You do know Tama, don't you? I am Aru. I am part of the group that Tama kindly allows to meet at her bar. I've heard all about your deeds from her. Now, you being a courageous youth, you have likely heard of the strange events in the desert and come to investigate, no? Or am I mistaken? You do know, don't you, Master Link? The Gerudo Desert once held a prison built to hold the worst criminals this land has ever known. The criminals who were sentenced to death were sent directly to the underworld by a cursed mirror that was kept in the prison. Now that prison is condemned, and even the road leading to the desert is impassable. This desert is at world's end. It still holds the cursed mirror and the malice of the doomed inmates. These old bones know that the evil currently plaguing Hyrule is related to this wicked place, so I have come to learn the truth. Master Link, I must ask, what will you do now? Don't tell me you plan to enter the desert and confirm my suspicious suspicions with your own eyes. Actually, I do. Ah, is that so? Then let good old Aru help you out. You see Lake Hylia below us? A man named Fire runs an amusement ride of sorts there. Give him this. Aru's memo! Aru wrote this to Fire. See, long ago I saved this man Fire's life, and now he cannot refuse me if, if I ask a favor. If you leave the rest up to Fire, all should go well. Well, alright. I'm going to take your word on it. But if you guys did like this video and you want to see more videos by me, uh, hit that like video. Yeah, hit that like video. Hit that like button and subscribe to see more videos. Next time on Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, we're going to be getting more collecting, uh, you know, we're going to collect more items around the world and hopefully get a lot of things. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time with a brand new episode. Uh, Link, anything you got to say? Okay. Bye.